See, it's that manifestation thing that trips you up every time because, because if you're not, if you don't care about being on the verge of manifestation, if the manifestation isn't an issue, the emotion is the issue. You're not on the verge of feeling interested. You're there. You're not on the verge of being happy. You're there. You're not on the verge. You're wholly there. And if you're wholly there, then it has to manifest. What we're trying to convince you in is the deliciousness of the knowing and the feeling of the vortex. We're not kidding you when we say everything that you want is about that feeling anyway. So why not go straight to the feeling and just feel the thrill of the interest, feel the thrill of the knowing. And we promise you the manifestation will come. That's just how it comes. That's how the rich just keep getting richer. So they focus like rich people focus and then more rich comes to them. And we say, yes, but you don't have to be rich to focus rich. You don't have to be abundant this red hot minute. You just have to find a way of feeling abundant, you see. And the universe, we got to tell you, the universe will follow you around in a concierge-like attitude, opening doors and rolling out red carpets for you in ways that you can't hire done. In other words, when you start practicing the in the vortex emotions and you begin to see what this incredible universe is able to orchestrate for you now that you are an emotionally cooperative component, you'll never again have the conversation about being on the verge of it because you'll be so full of the present tense unfolding of it. It's not like saving up for some big event. Everything is a big event. Oh, wonderful conversation with that person on the elevator. Mm, feels so good moving down the street in my vehicle. Oh, magnificent weather showering down around me. Oh, good ideas flowing in and out of my mind. Mm, loving people surrounding me. Mm, good meals everywhere I go. In other words, when you get tuned in to the frequency of this vortex, the kinds of things that we've been talking about become a non-issue. There's no effort. The vortex just takes you in. Esther says it's like being under the spell mm -hmm. of something so wonderful and so powerful yeah. that it just, it just says, here, loved one, here, loved one, here, loved one, here, loved one, oh, here, loved one, here, loved one. Ooh, you like that? Here's more. That feels good. Here's more. Think it can't get any better? It can. Here's more. It's like that. It just catch you in your on the verge nesses. Wow. When you when you catch yourself feeling that something that isn't yet is about to happen. In other words, there's a fine line between anticipation and expectation. In other words, anticipation, positive anticipation and negative expectation. Expectation, what you expect. You want to train your expectancy into wonderful things we want you we want you to know as we know what you are capable of living fully we want you to sniff it out with your emotions and embrace it so fully when you find those moments like right now you know what's going on right now as you're listening to us you are practicing the vibration of your true reality of well-being you see and a lot of us manifested, but you're feeling the vibration of so much that's in your vortex. And if you could just maintain this feeling, you know what we're talking about. You're feeling it, aren't you? You can feel it because you know we know it. And when you know we know it like we know it, when we're focused on you knowing what we know, you know it. Don't you know it? You know it. You know it. You can't not know it. You cannot have been here listening to it and not know it, at least to a degree, in the way that we know it, you see. So as you just milk that, as you just milk what you know, then the universe says, well, this, manif this amplifies it and this amplifies it. Here's evidence of this. Here's evidence of this stable vibration. Here's evidence of this stable chronic in the vortex vibration that you've got going on. What you're living, what's manifesting is always evidence of the stable vibration you got going on. And you have the ability to improve it all day, every day, all day, every day. Yeah. We want to put meditation in its perfect context. Meditation distraction from resistance right period right distraction from resistance so so let's say you've got something that's troubling you and it's active and it's saying look at me 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 
<laughs> now you might be able to think of something that feels a little better and think of something that feels a little better. And we've been teaching that for a long time, but it is a harder, slower way of going about it than to find yourself in the vortex and know what that means and then milk it because everything in your environment must acquiesce to your stable vibration. It does. As you're walking around, Everything that's manifesting as you walk around, as you move around through your world, as you as you move around in, in conversations with others, in conversations in your own mind, as you're moving around this physical environment in which you live, there is a grouping of closely associated vibrational cooperative components who walk around with you everywhere you go. Everywhere you go. It's just everywhere you go. That's what That's what your world is. So here you are, you're walking down the same street with other people in different worlds because you're at different vibrational places. So, so, so what, so what we were getting at, let's just finish out this thought. So what we're getting at is what's happening around you is a picture perfect reflection of your habit of vibration. But if you could let your knowledge of the existence of the vortex train your frequency, and if you could let the absence of thought, which is what happens in meditation, allow your frequency to raise. That's why meditate your frequency range. You're, you're in a different place. Different things are, are, are actualizing around you. Try it and observe who you meet up with and how the day gets off to its start. Who do you meet? What do they say? How do you feel when they say it? What's your point of traction? Then the next day, meditate for 15 or 20 minutes and see if anything changes and we promise you it will yeah. something appropriate to your vibration will come to you something appropriate to your vibration is always what comes to you always Good morning. It is. Yes. My first question is for Jerry and Esther. How was your breakfast this morning? <laughs> Don't tell him. <laughs> it was perfect. <laughs> because they brought their own. <laughs> Great. <clears throat> and as Jerry and Esther say frequently, we don't live it, we just teach it. <laughs> they are doing extremely well, but... Good. Get out. Is that it? Now what? Um, <clears throat> so I, I always have many questions, but I, I really get the essence of your te teachings, and I feel like I'm living them, and I'm in a good place, and things are really going very well. And, um, and I understand how special it is to be sitting here in front of you, being able to ask any question I want and get the answer that I need to hear. And so it seems to me that the question is the key. And I would like to know if you were sitting here in my physical body, looking at you, able to ask any question, I'm very curious to know what question would you be asking to move me forward, to move well, us forward? It's, it's the it it's the same question with a lot of different faces, but the essential question would be what mind I do right now, what mind I focus right now, how mind I feel right now to move myself as quickly as possible to the completion of my vortex as it stands. Mm -hmm. In other words, our, if we were standing in your physical shoes, our questions, our question would be, what can I do to sync up more fully and more consistently with the source within me to the vortex version of me? Yeah. Want and to know the answer? Yes, I do. This is such a really good question. <laughs> <laughs> you 
<laughs> and the answer is, you see, well, we're going to give you that answer, but before, <laughs> but before, but before, you're going to enjoy this because you think that you, we chose you and that you get to just ask any question that you want. But that's not what's going on at all. <laughs> we know who you are and what's active within you, and we choose you because of that. Right. Breakfast thing threw us a little bit. <laughs> you, you get what we're talking about. So. Yes. So the answer to that question <clears throat> is this vortex that we're talking about, you find yourself, whether you know it or not, in the vortex almost without exception every single day mm -hmm. it just happens something happens where the absence of focused resistant thought allows and in the vortex moment it might not last very long so the answer to our question of how to how to get closer to vibrational sync with who you are is to be to care about how you feel and be aware of how you feel and to do 100% of your efforting, of your affirming from inside the vortex. Things would be so much easier. All the work you do from outside the vortex, while it might move you, it would be so much easier for you if you were just aware that you're in the vortex or right on the brink of it and then you would just milk your way in. And then most important, stay there long enough to establish a frequency long enough to, enact, to get law of attraction w working around it in order to establish a vibrational shift every time you go in the vortex. Imagine. If you just stumbled in and then maintained and then practiced the vibration of being in the vortex long enough that you affected a stabilizing shift in your vibration, your entire world, everything else from that moment would shift for you. Every, the conversations that would come to you for the rest of the day would be shifted because of the shift in vibration. The memories that you're pondering would be different because of the shifting that you've accomplished that your digestion would shift, your metabolism would shift, your vitality would shift, everything, everything, the, the parts of your body and the way they relate to one another and your relationship with every person, place or thing would shift because you took the time to shift into a different vibrational frequency. How about that? And you do it by recognizing, mm, feel pretty good. Mm, what, what is it about this moment that feels so good? Why do I feel so good? Mm, feels so good. It feels so good. This feels so good. Why does this feel so good? What is it about this moment that feels so good? Is it the air? Is it what I'm seeing? Is it what that person just said? Is it what I was thinking about? Is it was because I was breathing deeply? Why do I feel so good? Mm, want to stay here. Just stay here a little longer. Just milk it a little longer. What feels so good about this? Why does this feel so good? Is it the music? Is it something I saw? Is it something you said? Is it something I thought? Why does it feel so good? I like how this feels. I want to stay right here. I love this feeling. Just milk it. Just milk it. Just milk it. Just milk it. Just maintain the vibration of it. Because you'll slip from it because life will cause you to. But just that little bit of, of staying there has changed your relationship with who you are forevermore. You will not be the same person after that much in the vortex focus. And when we use the word effort from inside the vortex is a whole different word than effort outside the vortex because effort inside the vortex is going with the flow of things. Effort outside the vortex is bucking your own current and it's hard. Mm. Best answer ever. 